friends, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures, and today I am taking you guys with me. We are going shopping for some plush to sell on Macari. I sell most of my plush on Macari just because I love the 10% selling fee. It's not a lot for when you're selling things for pretty inexpensive, you get to keep much more of your money. There's not so many fees involved like there is on eBay and other platforms. So, um, and plus it's just fun. I love selling plush because it just makes me happy and it's so cute and it's super easy to ship, right? Um, and it's easy to take pictures of and it's, it's just fun. I just love it. So, um, yeah. So today we are going to be doing some running around. Let's get it. Okay. Next stop. Okay, so at that Goodwill, I did go ahead and pass on the Build-A-Bear uh, Texas Longhorn because there was a whole bunch of them available on Macari and they were only going for like seven or eight dollars. And then I also passed on the Wright Brothers uh, 100th anniversary as well because that one, oops, that one also just had too many available. So a lot of times with the plush, as with anything, it has to do with supply and demand, right? So if there are a lot of them available, there's gonna be a lot of competition for pricing. Uh, and so the pricing is probably gonna continue getting lower and lower. But if there's only like one or two of the item, then you stand a better chance to make a bigger profit. And um, you know, I'd like to make the most profit and I have so much plush right now. So I'm trying to be a little bit more selective about what I do pick up. So um, now I'm on my way to drop off some, some consignment real quick and then we will hit up another Google and check out the plush. So this is the little store that I drop off my consignment. I've been dropping consignment here probably for about 10 years or more. They used to be at a different location and they've uh, they moved not too long ago. But yeah, been doing it for a while and it's nice to come in every month and pick up a check. I don't get a check every month because I don't always bring consignment twice a week, but whenever I do, it's nice to have that extra cash. So today I am dropping off some jeans and I also have some shoes that I'm dropping off. So while I'm on the way to the next Goodwill, I thought we would discuss the best places to source for plush. So personally, I think my favorite place to source for plush is at garage sales because it's usually super cheap. People sell stuffed animals at garage sales for 10 cents, a quarter, 50 cents. I mean, I figure a dollar is the most you're gonna pay at a garage sale for some plush. It's been my experience in the past. So that is, um, not too big of an investment for what sometimes can be a big return. Uh, and then the second place I like to buy uh, plush is obviously at Goodwill and the thrift stores. And dang it, I'm getting text. <laughs> so, but another place, a great place to source for plush is in your kid's bedroom. <laughs> so not plush that they still love and want, but plush that they're done with and they're like, let's get rid of this stuff. So, yeah, always great to source for plush for free. Well, maybe, I mean, you probably did pay for it at one point in time, but at least maybe you're gonna get some money back on it. So, yeah, <laughs> great places to source for plush. And if you have some more ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Hey everybody, it is the next day, and I went to Goodwill again today, and I found some plush pickups, and I'm going to show you what I got. Okay, first of all, Skippy, what are you doing, Skippy? Want to say hi? Say hi? Okay, so 
here are my bags that I bought. I spent a little bit of money today, more than I usually do, but that's okay because I usually don't find this much good plush, plush in one place. So let's look at the first item. The first item I picked up are these little bears. Um, you guys might remember a long time ago, I picked up a, a bear at my antique mall that somebody had put jewelry all over. And recently my friend over um, at Bougie Bear Vintage, that would be April, uh, she started making the bears with jewelry on them and selling them. So I thought I would get, try my hand at it in my antique booth and see how that goes. So, a little bear and it was only 99 cents. Skippy has to check it out. <laughs> and there is all my plush I've already listed the other day. I keep them in these big totes. And the last step is to put them in uh, those bread bags I was going to show you, but I, it's over there on the counter. Put them in some um, plastic wrap and then take this whole bin up to my in, um, to my storage unit, rather. Okay, so we showed you the bear. And I'm going to sell all this plush on Macari. What I've learned is it's super easy and fast for me to uh, list stuff on Macari. And then after about a week, if it doesn't sell on the platform, then I will go ahead and cross post it on eBay as well. Skippy, quit smelling me. What are you doing? Why are you smelling me? So here is a cute little Cabbage Patch doll. Uh, I picked this one up for $1.99. I'm not really sure uh, what I will get for this one, but she was just too cute to pass up. Okay, and then I got this cute little lamp here. Really, really pretty. And he was only 99 cents. And he is actually from Pottery Barnes Kids. So Pottery Barnes Kids plush definitely sells. The only thing I don't like is the Goodwills in my area, they write on the tag. So that means $1. So that's a bummer, but um, I'm still going to be able to sell them. Let's see. Next item is this super cute Aloha Hawaiian Hello Kitty plush. And this one was $1.99. And <clears throat> I'm definitely going to be putting her on Macari. I already said that, didn't I? <laughs> but yeah, I'm not sure about the prices. I'm definitely going to get all this stuff listed tonight before I go to bed. So if you guys want to go check out the prices that I end up selling these for, or listing them for rather, my user ID over on Macari is Tana Sheets. It's T A N A Sheets. And if you can't search by user ID, because I don't think that you can, just um, type in one of these items here, and hopefully um, my uh, my picture will come up. I'm probably going to be taking most of these pictures uh, today on that black background that I showed you guys, except for one, which, oh, my other bag is, it, Skippy is just totally checking out this plush. You better stay away from that. I can't sell them if they get Skippy hairs all over them. Okay, and this, oh my goodness, this, you guys. This little guy, isn't he cute? He's got these little long bunny ears. He was $2.99. And there are no tags on this one. Um, I mean, I saw the tag right here. He kind of opens up. He's got some Velcro, Velcro right there. What did I get on my finger? Anyway, uh, I didn't really see that it said anything. I'm thinking like, and Gettys, I'm not sure how you say her name, or let's see what this says. What does that say? I can't read it upside down. Unimax Toys, 1991. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. So, but that's not a big deal. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find that pretty easy. Let me go get my other bag real quick. Oh, well, first let me show you this stuff. This random stuff, not plush. I picked up this puzzle here, uh, and it was $1.99. It's brand new. And I picked up these Batua shoes. I'm gonna ask about 40, 45 for these on Poshmark. Did I say Poshmark? Geez, why am I, why am I even making a video? Oh my goodness. Not Poshmark, Macari. Oh. With me. So I paid $5.99 for these. Let's see. And then I got one more pair of shoes. It is a born pair of shoes. 
Super cute. And these were $5.99 as well. Uh, and then some fun pillowcases in there. But that is not what this video is about. It is about plush. So let me go get that other bag real quick. Okay, I got my other bag now. And we have a super cute, did you want to smell it, Skippy? Okay. A super cute little dinosaur here. And she has a little gold tutu skirt on. And she is a Build-A-Bear. And she was $4.99. Super duper cute. And here is, this is one of those bigger uh, Thai babies. Is a lion. And he was $2.99. Notice how most of the tags on these are red, you guys. It's the new color this week. So this stuff is uh, all new and it just came out this week. Um, the next one is this really cute little Snoopy uh, Hallmark plush here. It says, try me, I play Linus and Lucy, and it was $4.99. So look at this, it's so cute. Let's see. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's going to mess up. Watch out, he'll knock you out. How to Train Your Dragon, and this little guy was $4.99, and he's pretty big. I was super excited to find him. I just told Madeline, he's the Build-A-Bear. I just told Madeline, uh, was it last night or the night before, because we're going to go see the movie this weekend. It comes out Friday, and <clears throat> he is like my favorite character, and it might be one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, with the exception of Bolt. I went to go see that. Uh, me and my friends took the kids to go see that and I laughed so hard. We were crying, I laughed so hard. <laughs> um, but yeah, super happy to have found uh, Toothless. And um, I, really, I really think this Toothless is a little bit too big for me probably to keep. I would probably want something smaller if I was gonna keep one. And with the movie coming out Friday, I feel like if I list this for, you know, probably about $35 or $40 on Macari, I think I'll probably be able to get it. I mean, I'd like to get back a decent profit since I spent $5 on it. So that that is all of my plush pickups, you guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you know something about these uh, stuffed animals, any of them that I just showed you, please let me know in the comments down below. And um, drop me a comment. Also, let me know what you guys are picking up as far as plush and if you sold any, um, any good uh, animals lately. So thanks so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody. Skippy, you want to say bye? No, I just want to lay between your legs. You silly. Say, you guys say, put your little pot. Bye, everybody. Okay, so today I've decided that my background for the plush that I bought that I'm going to take the pictures of is going to be this black background and quite literally I'm just in my laundry room there's all that stuff and so I have everything secured up here and I like to clean um, my backdrop before I use it so I just get a piece of tape like this and then I just kind of get any hairs any skippy hairs or anything like that that I see off so the background looks nice and clean and the great thing about my laundry room, this is also where I take my pictures on a white uh, eight and a half by 11 piece of typing paper. Well, not typing paper, I guess they call it printer paper nowadays. 
uh, are these fluorescent lights. So that definitely helps. Another interesting filter. Now I'm a Skippy, you bathing? You sunbathing? Coco, what are you doing? Huh? Did Skippy steal all the steal all the sun from you? <laughs>